Good morning. Let us start with singing him. To pray at your altar, in faith we draw near. Glad here by your daughter, Christ's mother so dear. O good sing and we call on your name, your praises loud, your children proclaim. Sing and is in heaven and joins us in prayer to praise the Lord's blessings and love that we share. O oh, good sing and we call on your name, your praises loud, your children proclaim. Let's join in the Pilgrim's Prayer to good sing and O oh, glorious sing and you are filled with compassion for those who invoke you, and with love for those who suffer. Heavenly burdened with the weight of my troubles, I cast myself at your feet and humbly beg of you to take the present intention, which I recommend to your special care. Please recommend it to your daughter, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and place it before the throne of Jesus so that he may bring it to a happy issue. Continue to intercede for me until my request is granted. But above all, obtain for me the grace one day to see my God face to face and with you and Mary and all the saints to praise and bless him for all eternity. Amen. Let us pray the chapel of St. Anne. You can kneel or seat. In honor of Jesus, our Father who in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, all without the Amen. Sing and pray for pray us. For us. In honor of St. Anne, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not in temptation, but deliver us from the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, world without end. Sing Anne, pray for us. In honor of Mary, our Father who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily prayer, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the end of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the end of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sing in. Pray for us. The litany of sing in. For our daily bread. Sing and pray for us. For comfortable shelter, sing and pray for us. For joyous companionship, sing and pray for us. In our temptations, sing and pray for us. In our troubles, sing and pray for us. In our sufferings, sing and pray for us. In our good deeds, sing and pray for us. In our weaknesses, sing and pray for us. In the hours of danger, in the hour of death, sing and pray for us. For our families, sing and pray for us. For our friends, sing and pray for us. For our enemies, sing and pray for us. For our church, sing and pray for us. For those in need, sing and pray for us. For those who have no one to pray for them, sing and pray for us. The prayer for the sick, good sing and. Your grandson Jesus accepted suffering to share with us the virtue of patience in human illness. May your kind intersection offer healing for our sick brothers and sisters, comfort for all who suffer, courage for all who are afraid, hope for all who are afflicted, and trust that they have been chosen to be saints and are joined to Jesus in his sufferings for the salvation of the world. Amen. Let us bring out petitions to the Lord. Please stand. For a spirituality of journeying together, that we may be formed as disciples of Jesus, as families, as communities, and as human beings, through our experience of the synodal journey, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For true dialogue in the church and in society, that through a path of perseverance, patience, and mutual understanding, we may be attentive to the experience of persons and peoples. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For the unity of Christians, the dialogue between Christians of different denominations, united by one baptism, may radiate with new brightness on this synodal journey. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our discernment to be led by the Holy Spirit, that all decisions made on the synodal path may be discerned through a consensus that flows from our common obedience to the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a church that celebrates, that our journey together in the coming months will be based on listening together to the Word of God and the celebration of the Eucharist in the communions of the people of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. A prayer for a Christian family. Beloved Grandmother of Jesus, Beloved Mother of Mary, the Queen of Heaven, Good Saint Anne, please take our family and all our dear ones under your special care. Obtain for us the virtues you instill in the heart of Mary, destined to be God's mother. With your holy husband, Saint Joachim, you have become wonderful models for Christian parents. Help us to imitate your example in our families. Help us to make our lives reflect the peace and joy, the serenity and holiness which will show the world that we believe that God lives among us. Grant us to so live in God's kingdom on earth as to merit a place in his eternal kingdom where our family will be united, never to be parted again. Amen. Please remain standing for Mass. We begin this Holy Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the blessed Mary, ever virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ruth. Naomi had a prominent kinman called Bolex of the clan of her husband, Il Malabek. Ruth the Malabek said to Naomi, let me go and glean years of grain in the field of anyone who will allow me that favor. Naomi said to her, go my daughter, and she went. The field she entered to glean after the harvesters happened to be the section belonging to Boaz of the clan of Il Malabek. Boaz said to Ruth, listen, my daughter, do not go to glean in anyone else's field. You are not to leave here. Stay here with my woman servants. Watch the sea rich field is to be harvested and follow them. I have commanded the young man to do you no harm. When you are thirsty, you may, be, you may go and drink from the vessels the young men have filled. Casting herself prostrate upon the ground, Ruth said to him, Why should I, a foreigner, be favored with your notice? Boaz answered her, 
I have had a complete account of what you have done for your mother-in-law after your husband's death. You have left your father and your mother and the land of your birth and have come to a people whom you did not know previously. Boaz took Ruth. When they come together as man and wife, the Lord enabled her to conceive and she bore a son. Then the women said to Naomi, Blessed is the Lord who has not failed to provide you today with an heir. May he become famous in Israel. He will be your comfort and the support of your old age, for his mother is the daughter-in-law who loves you. She is worth more to you than seven sons. Naomi took the child, placed him on her lap, and became his nurse. And the neighbor woman gave him his name. At the news that a grandson had been born to Naomi, they called him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, the father of David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, see how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways, for you shall eat the fruit of your handwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Your wife shall be like a fruitful wing in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all days of your life. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. You have but one Father in heaven. You have but one Master, the Christ. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all teach all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example, for they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation rabbi. As for you, do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. I will begin on a note of greetings. 
and wishing sister a happy birthday. Yesterday was her birthday, but I wasn't here to celebrate the mass yesterday. So sister, happy, happy, happy birthday. I wish you, and I'm sure all of us will wish you God's blessings, God's graces, and the grace of final perseverance. Thank you, sister, and happy birthday. I also heard one of us is celebrating her birthday today. Is she, is anyone here today celebrating her birthday? Okay, all right, maybe not here. So with that said, now let's look at today's gospel. There is this word I'm sure all of us are familiar with, the word hypocrite. A hypocrite is someone who says one thing and does another thing. A hypocrite will also be someone who says, oh, don't eat that cake, it's too sugary, it's unhealthy for you. But when, but when no one is seeing the person, he or she goes back, gets a big plate, cuts a big chunk of the cake, goes back to his or her room, and consumes everything. But yet, the person will tell you, no, it's not healthy, but you, you go ahead and you eat it in the secrecy of your room. So a hypocrite is someone who says something but does another thing. And that is what Jesus identified in the Pharisees in the gospel this morning. They tell the people all these laws they are to keep. They tell the people all these prayers they are to say. But they don't do it. And that's why Jesus said, listen to what they say but do not do what they do because there is a disconnect. What they say is different from what they do. And that's what happens in the life of a hypocrite. They say one thing, they do another thing. There is no correspondence between their words and their actions. And this is what Jesus condemns in the gospel of today. But because all of us are human beings and we live in the world, there are the times comes when people face temptations. You say one thing, maybe to your friend, to your family, to your children, to your husband or your wife, to your superior or to your bishop. You say one thing to them or to your colleagues at work and you do something else. So we are reminded this morning that as Christians, there must be a congruence, a consistency between the values we talk about and the values we put into action. If you are telling people to be truthful, are you, am I truthful myself? If your friend comes to you and tells you, oh, my husband is this, is that, and you tell your friend, forgive him, give him a second chance, are you Am I giving people second chances in my life? Am I forgiving people in my life? If you tell somebody, oh, be kind, be generous, are you, am I kind, am I generous? So you see, when we tell people to do things that are right, the question then to us is, are we doing those things that are right? Or are we just being a mouthpiece for what is right without doing what is right? So today, my brothers and sisters in Christ, let us continue to pray to God to give us the grace that there will be consistency in our words and in our actions. So if you are a person that you've, had, you've achieved that consistency, you've always been consistent, I encourage you to continue to do it. But if you're someone who is still struggling, take some moment, have quiet reflection and meditation and ask yourself, in which parts of my life am I lacking consistency? Because it's something you have to think about, it's something you have to pray about to be able to tease it out and know where to put in the action. May God give us the grace and the strength to be able to do this now and always through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the children. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercies from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, and gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mm -hmm. 
the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespass, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us through the intercession of Saint Anne in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks. Be to all those who come.